Good morning. I want to welcome you again to His Word Lives Ministry. My name is David Guthrie, and my wife Jackie and I offer an opportunity for you to tune in to this Christian ministry. His Word Lives. How true the Word of God lives. What a beautiful name for a ministry. His Word Lives today in your life. Do you know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior? Praise God today for all of his goodness and the things that he's doing in people's lives. We're going to be reading from the book of Acts in chapter 3. <clears throat> and we want to read verses 11 through 18 this morning as we continue on in the book of Acts. And then we're going to have a prayer time this morning. And as the lame man which was healed held Peter and John, all the people ran together unto them and in the porch that is called Solomon's greatly wondering. And when Peter saw it, he answered unto the people, Ye men of Israel, why marvel ye at this? And why look ye earnestly on us, as though by our own power or holiness we had made this man to walk. <clears throat> the God of Abraham and of Isaac and of Jacob, the God of our fathers, hath glorified his son Jesus, whom you delivered up and denied him in the presence of Pilate when he was determined to let him go. But ye denied the Holy One and the just and desired a murderer to be granted unto you and killed the prince of life, whom God hath raised from the dead, whereof we are witnesses. And his name through faith, in his name hath made this man strong, whom ye see and know, yea, the faith by which is by him hath given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. And now, brethren, I want that through ignorance you did it, as did also your rulers. But those things which God before had shewn by the mouth of all his prophets that Christ should suffer, he held, he hath so fulfilled. We see here where Luke in the story in Acts tells of Peter and John were upon this miracle of this lame man being healed. The people came to Peter and John and were thinking that they had done it. But Peter straightens them out perfectly and tells them that it was Jesus Christ that has healed this man. The God of Abraham and of Isaac and of Jacob the God of our fathers, he glorified his son Jesus Christ through the healing of this man. Now, he also criticized them and lets them know that they were the ones that killed the Holy One, that killed the Prince of Life. Listen, I want to tell you something that this man was healed through faith in Jesus. And the Fulfillment of Christ's suffering has been fulfilled. That had been told by the prophets, the fathers. And Jesus, upon suffering a death on the cross, has risen and he's alive today. And the scriptures tell in verse 15, Whom God hath raised from the dead, whereof we are witnesses. They witnessed Jesus being alive after he was risen from the grave. He now sits at the right hand of the Father, waiting a time when he will come again in the rapture and get the church and take the church from this place. Our most important thing today as Christians is to spread the word the word that God loves people. The word that God wants people to be saved and have a relationship with him. 
And the only way that sins can be forgiven in a person's life is through belief and faith in Jesus Christ. The same faith that this man that was lame had. And it was his faith that brought strength into his legs. And he stood up and walked. After many years sitting outside the temple begging for handouts, this man stood up and walked. And a miracle was performed during this time of the early church. Won't you stand up spiritually and be born again and be alive? And have your sins forgiven. You can do this by praying to Jesus this very moment. And asking him to forgive you for your sins. And telling him that you believe he is the son of God. Praise God for the opportunity you have today. Let that be our first prayer request. I'd also like to pray for my friend Wendell Lusk. And he has prayer for the family of Mike Black that has recently passed away. Mike was a friend of ours in high school. I also want to pray for a friend of mine, Abby Todd, and for his wife that's recovering and his son that's pastoring a church, and Veronica Bristol. And she asked prayer that God would cover her up and and. and she has a need for a job in a job search. Nancy Muthon, I desperately need prayer. Teddy Klein, I have a younger brother that needs a lot of prayers. Been praying for him, but more going up is always appreciated. Audra Davis, thank you David for this ministry. I have been fighting asthma for weeks now. Please pray for relief. And healing for me, continued prayer for you in this ministry. Thank you, Audra. We want to pray for Elena Royals. Please pray for me and my family. Carrie Chatham. I need prayer about a situation with my son. I am looking for God's guidance to do what is right. Dorothy Daniel. Pray for my father. He has cancer. I just ask the Lord to guide him to the decision that is his will. May he be at peace and know Jesus is with him. Wilma Finley, prayer for her. Jackie Fain, unspoken prayer request. I'd also like to pray for these people. Chris Jones and Danny Cochran, Ruth Heiss, Karen House, Nancy Kirby, David Stone, Jerry Casey, Rhonda Hopper, Floyd Guthrie, Chris Jones, Diane Lowe's, Ellen Eubanks, Ben Richardson, Guy Emerson, Joan Eggers, Tommy Anderson, Craig Hanley, Nancy Muthon, Judy Parker, Susan Anderson. I'd also like to pray for Lee Thomas that's recently had surgery and for his continued recovery and, and for Donna and the family. <clears throat> I'd like to pray for a friend, Mike, that works, at, works uh, in town here, uh, had a family emergency and had to go to Florida over the weekend. We want to pray for Tony Couch. My husband has a lot of health issues and I would love prayer. Elaine Simpson, pray for her. Jim Ellington, pray for him. Jean Berry, pray for our 94-year-old precious mother. A boy named Jason, he has a friend Trey that had a stroke and has an upcoming surgery. And for his sister, we want to pray Pray for Trey and for for and praise God for Jason having a desire in his heart to pray for his friend. We want to pray for Greg Free and his ministry and, and his church. We want to pray for Candy Garrett. I would love for you to pray for me and my family struggling with financial crisis and a lot of other stuff. 
And we want to pray for Charles Bronson. And you lift up your prayers to God this morning. We want to lift up your prayers and pray for you and what's ever on your heart to, this morning. God knows all about this. God can touch you wherever you're at, wherever this video might be. Come together with us and let's pray together. Dear God, we come to you in prayer with thankfulness in our hearts, God. God, let us not take credit for things that happen along the way when it's you that's doing the things, when it's you that's providing the miracles, when it's you that's providing the healing and the correction and the, the remedies of things that bother us and hurt us upon this earth. God, we praise you and are in awe at your magnificent work of love in our lives. God, we lift up all of these prayer requests and we pray, God, that you touch each and every one of these individuals. God, and just help them in their time of need. Help them with their particular situation. God, we thank you for all you do for us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for being with us this morning. God bless you. And have a wonderful day today. Thank you. God bless you.